All right, guys, the watch list for Friday, uh, June 21st. Quadruple witching, so be advised. Not my favorite day to trade. Um, and I always have the outlook when something like FOMC meetings coming or quadruple wit witching Friday. Um, I always have the outlook that, you know what, the very next trading day will be a brand new day. Um, so I don't, I don't always feel like I have to have to trade. I think that's probably a good lesson for, uh, for newer traders or even uh, long-time traders. You don't always have to trade. So um, I'll be in the chat room and I'll be watching the stocks that I'm getting ready to show you, um, but I'll have the attitude that I may or may not take a trade. In other words, I want a trade to be so compelling that I can't, how's this for a good English, that I can't not take it, okay? So those are the ones, that, those are the best trades to take when you're sitting there and you literally can't stop yourself because everything's uh, lined up. So. Uh, and if I don't get that, it's no big deal. Monday's another day. I do not have to trade tomorrow. Um, and, and here's the SPY real quick. You can see the trend line break um, today. This is Thursday night on volume. Um, you know, had resistance back here right around 160. Uh, closed below that, but we'll see. Whenever you have two big down days like this um, and everybody and their mother is thinking, okay, uh, the market's an automatic short, and it's certainly telegraphing that it's uh, – you know, there's some fear now, and it probably is time to start leaning short. Um, I don't think so necessarily tomorrow, okay? When everyone and their mother thinks one thing, um, you might want to put on your counterintuitive hat and, uh, and, and at least have an open mind. All right, having said all that, Leap um, is interesting to me. That's on the watch list tomorrow. You can kind of picture a little trend line there. Um, and if I go to five minute candles, it was getting these big volume spikes on an intraday basis and, and you know, had good relative strength uh, versus the market. So we may get a breakout on leap above this area, LEAP. That one's on watch. TMUS, um, you know, this, if you just look at the recent action, you say, well, this is extended, it's climbing straight up. But you do kind of have a couple equal tops here. You can see the nice volume today. And if I go to five minute candles, um, this, is, this is pretty interesting to me. Um, I noticed it on this first candle and showed everybody in the room a TM, TMUS getting volume. I didn't do anything with it though. Um, but anyway, this is interesting. Uh, you got this afternoon volume spike and a very strong close on a very ugly day. So uh, TMUS also goes on long watch, uh, only with the proper intraday setup, of course. Um, RKUS, I'll kind of switch to, you can see it's a newer issue. It looks like it came public back in uh, November, I guess. Yeah. Um, anyway, here on 60s, uh, you kind of picture a little cup and handle here over this little uh, over this little base. This thing has room, and uh, it's interesting. Also, relative strength here today. So keep your eyes on that one. CTB. Uh, I guess they had news of a buyout. What about a week and a half ago? Um, and I don't know if the buyout's falling apart or not, or if uh, if the market just took this down. But now we're finally down to the eight-day moving average. Um, this is going to go on bounce watch for me, CTB. Usually, I don't even look at stocks that uh, have announced a buyout or, um, you know, even in, in talks or whatever, because I, I just think, you know what, there's other things to trade. But um, this many days down in a row and then a couple big days, um, any kind of decent news like, hey, maybe it's back on, you could get a great pop in CTB. So um, it doesn't cost you anything to have it on a, on a chart, five minute candles or something like that um, on Friday. And then Lulu. Uh, you do have some support in this area to the left here, and it's it's beaten up. I don't believe it's broken a previous day's high since the gap down. Maybe right here, um, but maybe this is getting ahead of itself to the downside. Also goes on bounce watch. Um, doesn't mean I'm going to do anything with it. And then BTU, uh, I made a trade in this uh, today, but it's still hanging around this 16. Um, with any kind of strength, I, I still like BTU as a bounce from this 16 area, but who knows? That's not my favorite. That's the reason it's last in the video is because it's my least favorite of the ones I've just given you. So that's what I'll be starting the uh, the trading day with tomorrow. That list right there. I'll quit babbling. We'll see you tomorrow.